A cross-session of Lagos residents have frowned at the move by some individuals to discredit the story of Mary Daniel, the amputee who was hawking such water on the streets. Plus, TV Africa's correspondent Uchechi Ubuehi Daniel went to town and now reports. The pathetic story of an amputee orphan with a two-year-old baby and an aged grandmother drove donations from individuals and the Lagos State Government. The event almost went sour when reports emerged that her narration was falsified and therefore the aid should be withdrawn. In a dramatic manner, the Lagos State Government, one of her benefactors, stepped in and decided to shield her from her blackmailers by supervising the funds. Do the people feel the same way? There's no point in saying she lied. Okay, There's thousands of her all over the country. Probably she didn't come up with this. Nobody would have noticed her. I want to believe that the only way she fetch she can be noticed is to uh, put it in that way. But uh, we all they should forgive him and uh, I mean consider her. Sorry, consider her and forgive her. Already you've seen the picture in her that. She walked with, she's a struggling one with, with an, uh, uh, clutches to make his, uh, her, her own daily bread. And she has a child. So if they want to help, let them help her. Forget about all the uh, all other pro propagandas. Regardless of the controversies surrounding her contrived story, many say the resources should not be withheld from her when needed. For some, it is an act of obtaining money under false pretense. But to these respondents, it should be ignored. The woman is an half card, and there is nothing with her. Nobody can help her from us. If the government wants to help her, let them help her. A social worker, Dorothy Njamanze, who spoke to us on the phone, explains that her situation notwithstanding should elicit help from Good Samaritans. From experience, for somebody to have made up her mind that her parents are dead, a lot must have gone under the, a lot must have happened. It's not in our place to tell people uh, how they should perceive people who, I don't know, I don't know what the relationship is or what the relationship was, but is she in need? Yes. Does she need support? Yes. Should she be supported? Yes. Does she, is there any possibility why she would say her parents are no more when her parents still are alive? Yes, there are so many reasons. Is it a, a yardstick to deny her of support that she's entitled to? Absolutely not. She's in need and a problem not addressed remains unaddressed. Governor Babajide Songolu has, however, handed her over to officials of the social welfare and some Kogi leaders resident in Lagos. Uchechi Ogwehi Daniel reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.